I will go ahead and say what it is. Um, apparently I was playing the demo, even though I bought the whole game. So I had to go back and do some stuff to make sure that I was able to play the whole game. Um, so now I should be able to play the whole game, uh, no problems. Um, anyways, so we should be able to continue. Um, I'll bring my mic closer, I'll probably, I'll probably talk a lot louder. being loud. Um, anyways, don't worry about me doing some shit. Um, what? Um, anyways, um, please take a moment to look down in the description below. Um, I'm doing a, um, donation stream that is still active. I already did the stream itself, but from the stream, if you have not watched or you haven't checked it out at all, um, if you want to check it out, I will leave a link to that, but above it will be, hopefully, hopefully, if I'm not an idiot, um, hopefully it will be the link to the donation page that I will be, hopefully, remembering to put in, uh, those of you from watching from the stream, you know what happened, um, please do not judge me, um, anyways, so, um, anyways, the COVID stuff that's going on right now, this is really important, and people, they're getting more sick because of it, or people also passing as well, um, also the frontliners are at most risk right now, so, in this fundraiser, or donation and all that, it is actually helping out a lot with what's going on right now, and some of it's dealing with, um, the supplies, the medical supplies that the frontliners need to be able to combat it, um, com combat the corona stuff. So, and I don't want to say too much of it, but I need to, so that way you know precisely what it is. Um, it will help funding reusable aprons, goggles, gloves. It will also help with, um, children, children and families during this time. Um, Babies getting formulas if um, parents and parents cannot afford it or stuff like that. It can help with transportation to an appointment. Um, it can do a lot of things that I just cannot say. I would have to put all up on my phone to show you some of what they do. But um, this is to help out mainly for getting equipment for what I'm hoping that it will do. But um, if you can take some time to at least check it out. Um, check out the stream. I don't know the timestamp, but, um, please check out the stream. I did talk a little bit more about it in there somewhere along the lines of it, because I pulled it up somewhere near the beginning, but kind of lengthy, so I don't know when that pops up. Um, I'm keeping this one But, um, anyways, just check out the link. Um, check out the stream. Um, I'll try to put a timestamp somewhere in there after this goes up, or before it goes up. I don't know. So, please take some time and consider donating. You don't have to donate to me. Plenty of other streamers, they, they've they already streamed and all. Some of them probably streaming now for raising funds. As well as many of them probably still have a link available. Mine's going on until May 31st. So, it's plenty of time. We have already raised $5 out of 100 because, one, I don't expect people to donate. But, again... That was really amazing for the person who did it. Thank you so much. And to me, it was a lot of fun talking to y'all on the stream. And I want to thank every one of you for coming out. So, um, anyways, without further ado and me rambling on, um, let us get started playing this game. And I had to lean up to save my mic to actually pick up my audio. Um, if I'm louder, I'm very sorry. I'm probably at this point naturally loud and I'm showing as much as I can at this point um anyways I don't need the mouse I don't need a mouse pad to screw all that um I could toss my phone over toss this over and we should be all set y'all ready uh the problem is I need to make sure I'm recording <laughs> we will continue such a horrific also um I want to point this out I don't remember voices I don't remember the voices I did. Um, such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone such a young child as you. As you were. Fifteen years old and, al and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. 
Sure, I guess so. Um, and remember, I'm reading Sal in my kind of normal voice. Even though I know Sal is a guy. I always thought Sal was a female. But, um, until I actually found out Sal is a male. So, that's cool. Um, I need a bottle of water. Because I do need to make sure my throat's okay. <clears throat> Put that there. And after all these years, or, and all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel, Sal? I mean, I don't know. At this point, I believe he was guilty of something. Well, what you mean he was guilty? Oh, I can't say that, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not convinced it wasn't him, though. Yes, so you said. You also said you felt like he was hiding something. He was guilty. What you mean? Uh, please forget that statement. Um, what about Larry? Mm. What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend through all, or all through high school. What more do you expect me to say? And after high school... We've been over this. I've lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. Is there a reason why? I, I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, but I wish there was some privacy upon this. <sighs> well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait, please. I, I will tell you something. Wait, I, it's about Larry. Just hear me out. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. But, Larry. Next week will be our last me meeting before your trial. So I hope you'll let me help you. Man. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. That's a fresh note. You might be the only one. Inmate number 081486. Uh, if that's important, please let me know. Sal. Sally, where are you? I get to play a Sally in the turtle. Okay, I, I want to say this. This is beautiful as hell to me. Also, like how there's something like right there at the front as well, like the trees and all. That's cool. I like the bird. Or uh, er, birds, I should say. <clears throat> I don't know if I said this, but in the um, first one, if for those of you that seen it, uh, Larry's um, paintings and all. They've actually been some of the things I went through in that, um, um, while I was playing. I didn't recognize it at the time. There was one in particular I didn't notice until after I recorded and edited it. Um, also, I like the blue hair. I like the color blue. That's a pretty blue. Hey, mother. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. Just please wait a little while longer. But I really want to see it. Please. Please can't go pet the doggy. Oh, all right, Sal. Just please give me a second to go get my purse. Then we can go together. And so I can keep an eye on you. Yay! 
Oh, wait over there by the trees. Actually, can I go this way? Got something to change. Okay. Um, I want to go this way. Or should I go the other way? I I don't know. Um, should I go the other way? I don't know. I'm gonna go right. If there's something that I need to go left for, I don't know. I like the music. Am I supposed to go this way? I saw that. What the hell? What the? Wait, is that a three in the distance? the hell oh I didn't piece this together at all enter the wanna the hell I'm very confused was I supposed to go that way what if anything happens if I went left All of this pony's weird to sell to me. Um, thank you so much for help, for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful! Herman normally have would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And he's just smacking himself in the face with them. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Hey, okay. The bathroom! This is a big ass bathroom. My God. What the hell? Oh! Hey, this the septic slam. This the septic slam. Um, I don't know which way I'm pointing, but um, to uh, I don't know where I'm pointing at. Uh, bottom. Bottom left above the, um, bricks. Septic Sam. Oh. Okay, there's a ladder. What else? What the hell? I don't like that. You there. Please. Help me. What's wrong? The water is stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please. Hurry. I should have did a better voice. There's one ladder. I'm sorry, I'm adventuring and then I'm also very nervous about that. Is there another ladder? There's a switch. There's two ladders and a switch. There's no 
another ladder. Switch. Okay, so mess with the switch. Hmm. Might be a pattern. Um, I'm gonna go left, okay. So another ladder. Maybe it's one of those where you're having to go top to bottom. It looks like a face. Probably not. Um. So that's the top one. My head hurts. Is it the top one? No, same, same as there. Middle one? Probably middle. Nose itches. It is middle. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Sammy, Sammy, how you doing? Or no? Stop tweeting. God, you're terrifying. So it is an order, like a pattern. So middle, top, bottom. Are you still flipped on? Okay, you're good. Middle, top, bottom. My head hurts. Middle, top, bottom. I'm sorry, it's my head really hurts. It worked. Oh, that's pretty color. Is Sam floating? Oh! If only I could carry him with me, be wrapped around my shoulder. <laughs> Like, he, or not wrapped around, but sitting on my shoulder. That'd be cute. I hope y'all... Oh, my God. Ugh. That's not okay. What the... I have major concerns. Who let that be in here? that be in here or is um sal consumed by guilt for that to be part of the imagination okay back in i'm in a different bathroom ah! seems about like what um larry said When the ponies is missing, I believe. We gonna leave. Ooh, the shoe prints. Okay, I can't walk that way. <clears throat> I like that look. That's cool. Then it fades into nothing. That's cool. Hey, Charlie. So, come closer. I have something to show you. I know you touched my pony. 
I thought we were friends, Sal. Episode 2, The Wretched. Nice. Man! Oh, frick. Okay, let me change that voice real quick. I thought I could do one. <laughs> don't, don't question me. having those nightmares I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died I really think it's this building something's off about it dude I know you're so insistent about it but I really don't think it, this place is haunted I've been living here for most of my life and I hadn't seen any ghosts but but you have seen a murder but what well We've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Please don't let it be like Charlie. Come on. Shut the hell up out there, train! If you'll hear a train, I'm very sorry. Um, wait, did he... He did paint something new. I don't want to go in the living room. But he did do something. Like, he did paint something new. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Nice hoodie! Hey, camera. Well, I have little earmuffs on. I like that. Whoa. How come he never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's, it's my fortress of solitude. Oh, that's pretty. Awesome. Awesome indeed. Just don't slip. Please don't slip. This is so cool. Always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Me too, Sal. Me too. Yeah, oh, yeah. My dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappear? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next he was just gone. No note. Nothing. Just he. It's like he vanished out of thin air. And all of his things were still here. His clothes. His tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Do I get a sneaking suspicion that he fell down? Down? I'm so sorry, Lady. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No. My parents loved each other. They hardly ever fought or anything. It isn't like what it sound it isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. But even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? What do y'all think happened? <sighs> Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted. But... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. And same goes for any of you. If you need me or anything, I'm not going to judge you. I'm here. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me. So many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own. 
but I just couldn't resist, dude. I looked a few out back, and one ended up in Miss Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. I actually have a pet rabbit. Eh. Oh, man. That's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson. And she was screaming at me like crazy. As if I needed another reason to piss off the old bag. I felt horrible. That poor bunny. Anyways, I was coming down in the elevator. That's when I saw the demon. A demon! He reached out and touched me. I got a super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the door opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was effed after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school, I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there's some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for everything, every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. And it's never your fault either. There's some things we do wrong, but it's not always your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had the form of a man. Did it have some devil horns? Some red glowing eyes? Mm. And the eyes were the worst part. Those deep red eyes that pierced right through you, looking you deep into your soul, slowly stealing your soul from your body. I'm getting too into this in some ways. Holy shit! What? I've seen it too! I've seen your demon! No way! When? I swear! I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to those ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How will we be able to do that? I don't think a curse is that easily broken. And indeed, you're right. Maybe there were some clues around that could help. We could try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. We can try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure. Why not? I've got nothing to lose. Can I look around here first? Cabinet. Nothing useful in here. Or in there. Huh. That's strange. Strange indeed. If you can't see it, the um thing's going on. What is that? Found this weird gear boy cartridge in the lost and found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, better keep looking. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old. 
from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old car concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a way, a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to a live one. Ah, there's a reaction to it. There's some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like a sealed shut. Take. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. Belonged to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box. I never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Okay, um, anything else you want to talk about? It's pretty cold. We should head back inside now. Ready when you are. I love the snow. It's pretty. Let me catch up to you, buddy. Come on. On a walk with you, Larry. Please slow down. <laughs> Yay, I caught up with you. So it's too late for a walk. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I have to sort of stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Is she running a fever or does she have a cold? I can help. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me, let me know if there's anything you need. Does someone not wash their hands? Because you don't need to. Thanks, Sally. I should ask Masky, bleh, Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. I want to check on Lisa. Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hiya, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain, which is good because there's so much work that needs to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting pretty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Take care of yourself. If you're sick, please do take care of yourself. Um, I have, I have reported a few times while I'm sick and all too. It's not good because it makes the sickness last longer and all. Machine's empty. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sal! Sally Peace! I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my salad Saturday without chocolate. I hear you. I like to start off the weekend with video games and cartoons. D did you? I did not call upon you. D did you see New Rickles? Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Um, have you seen any ghosts lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. So much that I shit tan them and I need to constantly change my underwear. I just stay in my room most times and isolate myself. Hey, you don't have to isolate yourself from me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Besides, you're in the computer. I'm not here. 
ever seen ever seen a demon with red eyes? What? Heck no! Are you trying to give me nightmares? My dreams are filled with nightmares, or mainly nightmares every night. Uh, see you later. See ya. Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes in here? Lost and found. Doesn't look anything I can use right now. Biohazard. I'll just slowly work my way up. Just slowly. Oh, now they have names. Miss Gibson's place. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I got through again. Hey, Miss Gibson. No, no, no. How you doing? Right there, asshole. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just want to talk to you. To me? Oh, all right. Come in then. Door is open. It's always good. Oh. You look nice. I hope you ain't like Miss Umbridge. Um. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things if that's okay. Ask away, my child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time is all I have, and even that will slip away from me soon. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time. Sitting here alone. The mind can drift. A great deal. Wondering what's beyond the veil get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense yeah yes the time is an enigma oh but listen to me rambling on I'm sorry dear Sally um you have something to ask how long have you lived here long indeed Though it's hard to say exactly, my old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust and my consciousness will merge with it. With the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say, I've tried. Yes, a powerful dread, dreaded empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I shouldn't. I've been rambling on. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking, asking how long you lived in the Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell it to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again. Someone to share the ang anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear. Though it all eventually becomes meaningless. Um. About the Addisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. He's a grandson. As a young as a young boy with a twink twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He looked a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up his own dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartment. And that's one reason why he makes his own tea. Slowly, slowly but surely, he's been confining himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. 
Yes, despite the cheerful persona, persona puts forth from behind that door, that door of his, Terrence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes, but aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you seen any ghosts in the building? Ghosts? Why on the heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the lore of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could say we're all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and dedicated casings, or delicate casings, any small misstep could send us really into eternity, into the blink of an eye. See you later, and it was nice talking to you. How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything is discussed there. Oh, um, oh yeah. I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all. Though, I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future. You're able to, if you're able to, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in. For everyone's safety with all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable living in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Um, have you seen the ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy, please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some permissive phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa's sick. No, no, it's, it's okay, uh, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. Doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. Neither do you. Please give yourself a break every now and then. I'm sorry to keep doing that, but it, it's really important. You're too kind, Sal. Um, see you later. Good day. Uh, round two. I really don't want to bother him right now. He's usually two to an tutoring on the weekends. Two or three. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, it's empty. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Five. head is really hurting. That probably means I need to stop to actually take care of myself. Okay, we're gonna go to level three. <coughs> or floor three, I mean to say. Okay. Uh, college students. They're pretty busy right now. I shouldn't bother them. Davis Place. Oh, hi, you sell. Which gents up to today? Hey, David. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghost of my past keeps me awake at night. 
all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, what about, like, the spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, you just got to lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I would take your pants. Oh, well. Turn the wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get them. But we just got to talking, you know. Lost our time. Uh, see you later. See ya. Four three, damn. Four four. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe I left after what happened next door. Oh, there's no camera on that. There's no camera on that one. Did y'all see? Also, if I point weird, um, I'm pointing to my right, trying to show that something's wrong with the camera. Like, that is not there. So, it might appear to y'all showing on the left. Which, this is my left arm, this is my right arm, so it's still weird for me. <laughs> hey, Gizmo! What you watching, buddy? Nice show. Little water bowl and food bowl. Bathroom. Oh, there's a litter box. Living room. Sal's room. Edward shovel hands. Vampire Haunter B. She lives. Sorry, I'm having to readjust my headphones. I think it's because of the fact that it sounds. It's working. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. Okay. Sleep aid. That's five oh one locked. Five oh two open. Oh, bird cage with blood on it. Oh, is that guy back at all? Or out of their own room? Nah. Five three and five four. Locked. That's it, yeah. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe that Addison Apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come to 504? Sure. My mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. So what is it you want to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? So come on, let me show you where the handprints are. Oh, uh, was there three handprints the last time? I want to go in the bedroom so bad, it's for the shut. Also, I know what all those say. Damn, this fifth floor rooms have seen better days. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to come out and meet my new friend, or my friend Larry. Don't be shy. Megan? Don't think there's anything up in here, dude. She might be afraid. She would be pretty shy, though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while. I hope she's okay. 
So you come up here to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? You've already got my interest. I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. Sure you're not. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey. I never say anything about you being crazy, man. I just say you might be weird as me. As weird as this is, I believe you're okay. You're my best you're my best bud. If this helps with all finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who you should go talk with? Todd. Probably the smartest kid I know of. And he's also into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh. Yeah, I expected that he would believe in that stuff. It always seems so normal. Rational? Level headed? Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Um okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs and make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you can find anything. Will do. Cause I believe it was the first door. It is. 202. Hey, Sally Face! So you took me a minute to answer. I was waiting for them for the tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hi, I'm Ash. <laughs> I like the color eyes. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, uh, me? You have? Yeah. Oh, the good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you and to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work on, on more algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You're all right, Sal. You seem a bit anxious. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ashley seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Her full name is Ashley Capbell. She's a freshman, like us, and an overall nice person. She has in trouble with math, so I've been help I've been tutor tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. We didn't come here to talk about Ashley though, so what's up? Oh right. Um Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences and the possibility of consciousness incurring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable phenomena on first hand, I will require concrete evidence to declare with certainty. That I believe in ghosts, though I do find this subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. Um I was say, I see dead people. Are you referring to Miss Sanderson? Nope. It's something else. The ghost is the the building is haunted, I see ghosts, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help in doing so, though. That's one of the reasons why I came up here to ask. Or down, I should say. So I need your help with it. Thank you for telling me your story. I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, 
That does seem to be a strange condition. A coincidence that your Megan and my aberration are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be the water, pi water pipes add as some sort of conductor for them. Though that is only the speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect, let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call call upon Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Fifty fifty chance. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not gonna hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? Sorry. Hello? Is anyone there? Um, it's not working. Oh wait, me? Oh, uh, no. Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. But I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. No, no, uh, supernatural. Cool. Sounds, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. It's so like an antenna and battery pack. Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Where am I going to get it? Um, go to this room Bob I like your fish that's Bob he's okay my parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology as they put it is your mom okay yeah, she'll be all right. The change, the change of seasons always gets to her. It's just her back cold. She'll be okay. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Hey, mind if I board the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Thank you. All I need. Um, I'm gonna zap back to when I'm up. So, peace out. Okay, um, I'm back. Reception. Yes, this will work perfectly. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy. I spoke of earlier. Uh, give me a moment to, to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Oh, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You have me worry for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. Hope that is all right. Eric's not going to be happy about that. It's okay though, it's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press Y, press the Y button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press that R button to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then a surge of Surge of energy or electricity will provide an, ex an ample source of power for, to energize nearby apparitions and potentially or possibly other super, supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I should just only take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. When you're ready, hold up the super 
Master Gear Boy press by pressing what? Oh. Oh, I found it. Hmm, maybe I... It worked! Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? I, I never thought he killed them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh, God. What a fool it was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. Like I was. Um, it's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us any- No, 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 no! What, what is it? He's here! Who, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. Three. Out of three. That was a fully informed and conscious apparition see anything like that you okay yeah yeah i'm fine it's just one thing to read about paranormal and formulate theories and a whole nother thing to actually experience it i know what you mean it's a lot to take in but we have some work to do i got my feel for excitement for research today so i'll stay here and do some research um I want to look into the history of the Addison's apartment and see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. And both. Oh, by the way, there's some. There's some just static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not pre prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Members don't. If I go this way. Listen. Greg. Sounds like someone is crying. I'm gonna go check out and make sure they're okay. All these rooms look like the same. Miss, are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, madam. My name is Gregory Montage. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just I heard some crying. I wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I 
take it you're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible. What goes on in this place? It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I tried to reason with them. I reached my wits end. It's making me think about um that dude on um that dude losing. This might be with him. I understand. I've lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Miss Jack. Monogog. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm I was right. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at such a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folks like you. The pleasure is all mine. Ah. So some of these might be relied on the spirits you meet. That's cool. Trying to find any records relating to the Aston's apartment. I'll probably need to hack into the police database as well, so this could take some time. Check back in later. There is something here. something doing with that. Ah! And it just doesn't... That's cool. Megan! Mm. And he just in the hallway? Oh! Something's here. That didn't look good. No, it doesn't. Oh, I can go to Charlie's. There has to be something in Charlie's. Anyway, anything over here? Okay. There is something here. Is it not the same kind of thing? That one was green. Um, what? Same here, Sal. Same here. Something else? No. Might be something here. There is. Okay. What is it? God. Okay, there's another number that should have three, then one. Oh, it's probably showing out like what um things, what um new things there is. Oh my, what's that horrific device you have? It's a, well, it's a sort of, hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Sorry, ma'am. You okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been in a long time. I mean, yes, I know, Sally. I'm not gonna drop dead on you. Not today, at least. Thank the heavens. I thought that electrically shocked you to execution. Electrical execution. That would have not been the well. Kitchen? <gasps> Kitchen! Let's see what's here. Blue. Two red, one green, one blue. 
six. Three, one, six. I don't think I'm supposed to be writing these down while I'm doing it. Because what if it needs in a specific order? Those achievement. I didn't see it. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Tom made that? It's pretty awesome. Wait, wait, for some of walkie talkie. But yeah, I kind of forgot to mention something. He needed a few parts for the upgrade. I hope you didn't mind. Um, I can get his new ones on me. Damn, that's okay. Hopefully it will help find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Um, how's the La Vista sound? Always shut the corners. And I, I don't mean to criticize the game in any way or anything like that. I just think it'd be a cool if that add in if you could have footsteps on the snow. Um, that's just me. But um, I love the game the way it is, so you don't have to change anything about it. Sold to the game. I I love this. Um, well, I should probably go and check in with Todd again and see if he found anything. I don't want to leave yet. Anything else? Okay, he's not going back up again. Um, actually, I want to play. I want to play with the um. I want to play. Like, is it unlocking each chapter and seeking Rodvin? Providence. Oh, it is unlocked. Yeah, okay. I don't need to write anything down. She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the book of forgotten truths. That was a found finger. Thought she would win the symbols right there, too. Oh, it's just dangerous. Okay. Terrible enemies. Okay, I'm terrible at these.
high speed, but you kind of need to take your team on it. I was also so close to the take book. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my work now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as a testament of your place among our ranks from his forth. May your sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. That's not to be Uh, chapter two. And a mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. Ken, I don't like this that much. Uh, what the hell are you doing? As long as you're not timed, we are fine. Enter. I just felt like, felt like a weird electrical jolt through my body right as that happened to I'm not doing this time. Frick! Oh, say so pushed down. Okay, I, I'm not that mad then. We fine. I'm just terrible at these. Is there anything over here? No. What's over here? Nothing. A young Oculus, or Oculus, I can't say it, found herself entangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components of the castle required. Oh, oh. I never nails here.
tell me that's the damn middle. Okay, so there's four more then. Down. Okay, not down. Okay, I gotta go up. It keeps tensing when I get close to the damn spikes. This music is strangely like it's gonna stay in my mind. Where's it gonna spawn down here? Nah, freak. Found it. I have retrieved the remaining sets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. What in the absolute hell did they summon? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that effect. I like how you can play it too. That's really nice. Okay. Um, going back to talk. It's a little strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie, but look at this photo of him in the public record. The local murderer receives life sentence. Mugshot. Charlie H Hansfield, age 41, above. It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Miss San Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police records. It was as if they weren't here at all. Like, they don't even exist. How is that possible? Questioning, same thing. Not entirely sure, but I did find one thing interesting. Or one interesting thing. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Now I'm thinking about finding the spread of 87. 
Megan Holmes, age seven. The little girl we were talking to. Lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Ooh. Looks like it might it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom is telling us about. Her stories line up, right? Well here's where it gets weary. There's another day on the report one day after the original file was or was updated. Stating the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they have been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. She's going across. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. The Asha makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. What are you up to now? I'm just doing some more research and reaching out to other paranormal enthusiasts online. If there is some kind of malculous presence, or malicious, sorry if I say it wrong, presence in the building, there has to be some way to deal with it. Todd, I think you and I need to hang out more often. It's cool you to help me out with this stuff. Anytime, Sal. Anytime. See ya. I think we're gonna be good friends, Todd. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work it magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy F knuckles! That's not a nice word, Larry. I'm just a child. <laughs> you have to forgive him, Megan. I've never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words too sometimes. Well, where have you been lately? What do you mean? Well, I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Larry's just like, what the hell? Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend? I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh. And my mommy didn't, or and my daddy didn't like him much. I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. Red Eye Dude. Probably that's who he is. But he wasn't, he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Are you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah. How did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, guess our daddies were friends, he? <laughs> you can tell me where he is. Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my dad went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes. Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of a lost and found box. 
My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in a bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-uh. What? Daddy's coming. Doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Five. Five was unlocked. Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need that to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you use the tools first? Actually, David, actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now. He's always had some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the fo third floor and see what I can do. First, I'm gonna play a game. Or not. play a game. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna see what this says. Uh, Mega's necklace, it was in the lost and found box. It must have been there for a while. Okay. Anything about it? A photo of Megan from before she died. A necklace may be of some significance. And anyways, play. Chapter 5 Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she'd gone too far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. Can I split off? Oh, I can! Uh, right. Wait, is it me or is it actually getting darker? It is getting dark. Where have you been, child? You have me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything's okay here. I just want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know this would be our little secret. So there's three more left. I'm sorry if these are really long. It's really damn cool. Three. What's up, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you. But it's the only thing holding my shelf up right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids and all, but they have these real loud parties and they shakes the whole wall and my shuffles right down. If you just can talk to them for me, get them down a little quieter, then I can let you borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I can do it myself, but I ain't. For clean clothes, you see? And I just hate to see the old... I just hate to be the old party poopers. Do you know? Yeah. I probably will be right back. See ya. Now I can go and crash your damn parody. Or I could join them. Which I would love to join. Uh, me one over here. Hi, CJ. Let's see if I find anything first. Nothing. Nothing here. Nope. Walk around real quick. Okay. I 
Hey, GG. Um, hey, Z, what's up? Hey, Sally Face. I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Um, oh, we got good ones quite. The musical chairs, charades. about this one. It's not expected. It. It's classy. I think it could work. Yeah, we see this or that other one. Hey, Sierra. What are you up to? Siri, screw off. She's been out of eight all night. It's been driving me insane. Oh, hey, Sally. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. Brent and I usually like our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrating it down. So can I have a look over your list? Sure. Um, how about chess? That's been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. I mean, that does it. The party should be much quieter now. I wouldn't turn it up much louder. But I need that crowbar. I want to see what's in that room. What's up, brother? Gotta take your damn crowbar now. Hold it out with all the cautions. We're gonna have a much low key, much more low key party this time. Well, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah would be so happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. Glad right, I could help. Wait, let me go grab that chain. I mean, grab our furries. One second. Here's your gold, buddy. Take care. Nice. Thanks, you too. Should be able to pull, pull these bars off with the crowbar. Yes. Really loud. Let's go in. Oh. Oh, right off the bat. Surprise me. Stacy? Are you okay? Four has been a lot, but that ain't good. Anything else? It's not good. Walls. I want to go in it. It's a huge hole in the wall. It looks like there's a room on the other side. Cross through creepy hole. Point to another turn. I want to. Let's go in it. Go on. I mean, you're not going to terrify me that much, right? Just a hole in the wall. I didn't say anything about going dark. But apparently we are. So, please skip ahead. Because this is going to be gruesome, I guess. He hello? Seven. Oh, thank you for not doing that. Um, I'm missing number eight. 
When her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. I screwed up. problem but freak the hell out Take that now. What demon of hell did you just spawn in my life? It's the right door. Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bombs. Good. And I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have it done. I think I should never let things have gotten this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we're gonna stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to reform it for a thousand years. Then I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Chapter 8. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else, even through, even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what he, what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Shit, you fast. I like the need for speed, mate, but... That's not good. Oh, God. I cannot be able to control him. The charge will only slow us down. She would never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. Megan? Ah. I was so close to death. Looks exactly like him, that statue in him. Walk with me into the undying flame, and our power shall be endless. Frick! Okay, that's fine. If it starts the whole thing over, then we have a problem. Oh well. Luke, can you hear me? Luke? The 
that's not good. What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically, it could overload, overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. Guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison's apartment had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to... Like it took care of it. Oh. What is it? No, that's great. No, I was just thinking. I guess, since there's no curse... This all means that my dad, he... He just... No! <laughs> Baby. I'm sorry, Sal. But that's our training for today. The girls are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insights from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial being in just a few days. I swear on my life, I told you nothing but the truth. Governments, conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. Sal, these things don't exist. You're too stuck in your own damn head. How do you expect me to even believe you? Expect me to help you? You can't expect me to believe you for this. Think about how, think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but I told you. What, what all I told you is the truth. I promise you, everything is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What the effing psycho, eh? For sure. He's contemplating. Oh, we just go. Um, I need to find the chapter eight. Unless I can unlock in next one. I don't know. I want to find that out. Let's go. Let's see what this goes. I control him apparently. So that's interesting. Inventory now. Floof. Free Sal. So Floof, Free Sal. Um, don't know what that says. SF. God is dead. Soul, Soul Boy. Patty likes pancakes. I'm in the mood for pancakes, damn it. I like the background, it looks pretty. What with the sun and all that? Let's climb. Whatever you do, please be careful and don't fall. A few old, old your paintings probably Larry's don't question what the hell I turned into rusty tools and not the various junk yeah rusty tools and other various junks okay boxes they're filled with clothes books cassettes nothing of importance Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Not that strange about it though. Look, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. Guess I just needed to see it for myself. So I was so convincing 
This stuff seemed. This whole thing seemed off. Mary! Got to Ian? What? What? Ah! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. We have to get Sal out of jail. This shit's much deeper than we thought. Please. I don't like how close he's standing to the exit. We have to get Sal here. This, this, you're not, you, you can't be. Calm down, dude, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then. I didn't say it was too close. Shit, agreed. I don't, I don't like that bone just uh through the flesh, no. Achievement unlocked. Conjure. What the hell? The red ball! Is this real? Am I dreaming? What room? Wait. Find me in the white room. Don't forget what I told you. Someone's backwards or you gotta read it backwards. Do not... B. Um. I don't know what that one is. Don't. Oh, do not be afraid. You are. Um. You are safe here, Sal. But you must not speak of this place to others. The only one who believes you is dead now. What should I do? Run? Huh? Run? Run! Run! What the hell? What is this? What? Scared the shit out of me! God, that shit scares the frick out of me! There used to be a door here. I did this wrong! That scared the shit out of me when I slow down. Okay. Okay. Catch my breath. I just, I heard like something coming towards me all around like. Oh, I hate that. Um. Ugh. I don't know. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself. Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I had no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witness or evidence of any such person? Don't know. I don't see the relevance of that now. 
Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. What about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now except what I did I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special mill privileges because you are afraid of blowing? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is, in, is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right, I'll share it with you. Episode three, the baloney incident, which I'm going to stop. Um, I'll probably do a few other things. Sanity Falls, uh, this Okay, um, I, I need to, I need to stop. I, I need to stop. Ugh. Okay, I'll do this, then I stop.